take this mask off to um, be able to speak to you a little better. I'm Karen Singer. I'm an artist. I'm in my studio in Germantown in Philadelphia. And um, I am here. I'm going to show you a project I'm working on for McGee Rehab Hospital. Um, I think you can see these gigantic letters that are made out of clay. Um, they are going to be um, in the lobby of the, the hospital, and the lobby is being named for Dr. James E. George, who is a formerly an emergency room doc who was a patient at McGee and who started painting as part of his therapy there and has become an artist who it's transformed his life and his style and his paintings have become really important to the hospital. They really fit with the hospital's mission. So McGee asked me if I could make something to for these, the, to name this room that would honor Dr. George and his work. And so these letters mimic his painting style. Uh, and he and I have been talking about which glazes I use as I keep going. And it's been an exciting thing. Um, if you want to learn more about what my work is, I do a lot of ceramic tile murals for nonprofits and custom ceramic tile in different for a lot of different purposes, residential, commercial, uh, gifts, awards, and my website is karensinger.com. Um, anyway, I'm going to just show you, I'm going to be doing some touch-up. So, for example, on this E, I missed an area, and I'm going to be reglazing it. So I'm going to take the yellow glaze, and I've got it here. I'm going to stir it up with a tongue depressor to get it well mixed. And you can fire these things multiple times as needed. Um, when the, the piece goes into the kiln, it's going to be fired to about 1860 degrees. And then the glaze melts on the surface of the, um, of the piece and becomes shiny and glassy. It fuses to the surface. So I'm finding the spots where I miss glazing, and I'm going to do these in a few colors in different places. I think that's what I need from the, I'm going to go find whatever else needs yellow right now, add the yellow in those places, then I'm going to go back with a different color and add that in some other places. So I have a little thin spot, and I'm going to just add some yellow here, like this, on top of the other colors. And the colors are translucent, and they sort of merge, and um, gives a, a richness. You might see that I have these um, little pieces of cardboard on the table. Um, that's to indicate where I need to reglaze, just so that I can keep track, because it's easy to get lost with what I'm doing. Um, I think that's enough.